Uh, I can answer this in many ways. So, uh, the fact that the universe is speeding up implies that something is pushing on the universe. Now, we think of gravity, done around here by Galileo to begin with, who thought about gravity in a way that no one else had really thought about before, that gravity is about objects pulling each other. And yet, when we went out into a universe, which is full of stuff that should be pulling, we saw the opposite. The universe was speeding up. And that tells us that gravity is working in reverse somehow, or there's some other force that we don't know about. Like the dark energy. So dark energy is the material that gravity works as a pushing force. So that is the interesting thing about dark energy. If the fabric of space itself has energy, then gravity pushes rather than pulls that material. This implies 70% of the universe our measurements imply that 70% of the universe has to do that. So if you are a person who's not a scientist, you'd say, so what? Well, my experience is that when you get someone to really think about it, you say, so we live in a universe where there's this stuff that is all around us, that's part of us. 70% of the universe is the stuff we can't see, and it's pushing the universe apart. It is making the universe so it doesn't eventually end. It has this bleak dying where it fades away into oblivion. Well, that's quite psychologically profound. It's like reading a book or looking at a work of art. So I will admit that I have met people who say, I don't care. But they're not very interesting people, typically. And then you also take people to, you know, Giotto and the thing, and they say, well, I don't care, right? Well, that's true. There are people who don't, do not care. Although my experience is almost any young person does. In the longer, so I think there is a beauty to the discoveries that we make, uh, an intellectual beauty, and a curiosity that is part of being human that most of us have. But there's also the issue that in order to live the world, you know, live the way we do, we as humans manipulate the world through our understanding of the laws of physics. And the dark energy that we seemingly is causing gravity to push is right now a bit of an enigma because the dark energy seems to affect gravity, makes it push, and the only way we know how to make it is through quantum mechanics, through quantum field theory. Quantum field theory, though, predicts the wrong answer by 120 orders of magnitude, so it gets the answer just horribly wrong. So there is a hope, one of the big outstanding mysteries of physics is how to take quantum mechanics and gravity and link them. And it is hoped or thought that this dark energy may be a link. Why is that important? Well, because if you understand how to link gravity and quantum mechanics, then you will have a understanding of, a fuller understanding of how the universe works or how physics works. Now, I don't know what that will lead to, but in the case of quantum mechanics, it's led to computers and to watches and everything we know electronic. And so that understanding has the possibility of revolutionizing the technical world around us downstream. It's not going to happen next year. It may be 100 years downstream. But that's why it's useful.